First, let's define diagonalization. A square matrix A is called diagonalizable if there exists an invertible matrix P and a diagonal matrix D such that A equals P times D times P inverse. The next theorem is central to the discussion of diagonalization. Let V1, V2 up to Vn be eigenvectors of an n by n matrix A with eigenvalues lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda n, respectively. Define D to be the diagonal matrix with diagonal entries lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda n, and P be the matrix with columns V1, V2 up to Vn. Firstly, we have that A times P equals P times D. Second, if P is invertible, then A is diagonalizable, with A equals P times D times P inverse. Let's first proof the first point. A times P equals A times the matrix with columns V1, V2 up to Vn, which equals the matrix with columns A V1, A V2 up to A V N. Since the Vi's are eigenvectors, this equals the matrix with columns lambda1 V1, lambda2 V2 up to lambda n V n. On the other hand, P times D equals the matrix with columns V1, V2 up to V n times the diagonal matrix with diagonal entries lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda n. This equals the matrix with columns lambda1 v1, lambda2 v2 up to lambda n v n. Hence, a times p equals p times d. For the second point, since p is invertible, we can multiply both sides of the first point on the right by p inverse, and we get a times p times p inverse equals p times d times p inverse. So, a equals p times d times p inverse. We can now state the diagonalization algorithm. We can diagonalize an n by n matrix using the following steps. The first step is to find the eigenvalues lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda n of A, which are the roots of the characteristic polynomial CA bracket lambda of A. The second step is to find the eigenvectors v1, v2 up to vn of A, with eigenvalues lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda n, respectively, which are the non-trivial solutions of the homogeneous system lambda i times i minus a times v equals zero. Thirdly, if p is the matrix with columns v1, v2 up to vn, and p is invertible, then a is diagonalizable with a equals p times d times p inverse where D is the diagonal matrix with diagonal entries lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda n. Let's look at an example. Suppose we want to show that the matrix J equals lambda1, 0, 0, lambda1, 0, 0, lambda is not diagonalizable. Note that if a matrix A is diagonalizable with A equals P times D times P inverse, then the diagonal entries of D are the eigenvalues of A, and the columns of P are the corresponding eigenvectors of A. Assume for a contradiction that J is diagonalizable with J equals P times D times P inverse, where P is the matrix with columns V1, V2, V3, and D is the diagonal matrix with diagonal entries lambda1, lambda2, lambda3. The characteristic polynomial of J which is the determinant of t i minus j, is the determinant of t minus lambda, negative 1, 0, 0, t minus lambda, negative 1, 0, 0, t minus lambda. Since this matrix is upper triangular, its determinant is the product of the main diagonal entries, which is t minus lambda cubed. Hence, j has only one eigenvalue, lambda. To find its eigenvectors, solve the system 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The first row shows that the second variable is 0, and the second row shows that the third variable is 0. So the general solution is A, 0, 0, where A is a real number. So lambda i equals lambda, and v i equals a i, 0, 0, for i equals 1, 2, and 3. But then P has two zero rows, 
so the determinant of p is zero. Hence, p is not invertible, which is a contradiction. So this means that j is not diagonalizable. For the second example, we consider the matrix A equals 3, 2, 2, 0. We want to find A to the power n for any positive integer n. From previous examples, the eigenvectors of A are v1 equals 2, 1 and v2 equals 1, negative 2, with eigenvalues lambda 1 equals 4 and lambda 2 equals negative 1, respectively. Let D be the matrix 4, 0, 0, negative 1 and p be the matrix 2, 1, 1, negative 2. Since the determinant of p, which is the determinant of 2, 1, 1, negative 2, is equal to negative 5, which is non-zero, so p is invertible. That means that a is diagonalizable with a equals p times d times p inverse. We compute the inverse of p, which equals 1 over negative 5, times the matrix negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, and 2, which equals 1 over 5 times the matrix 2, 1, 1, negative 2. Also, d to the power n equals the matrix 4, 0, 0, negative 1, raised to the power n. Since this matrix is diagonal, we raise the diagonal entries to the power n. So we get the matrix 4 to the power n, 0, 0, negative 1 to the power n. Now, for a positive integer n, a to the n equals p times d to the n times p inverse, which equals the matrix 2, 1, 1, negative 2 times the matrix 4 to the n, 0, 0, negative 1 to the n times 1 over 5 times the matrix 2, 1, 1, negative 2. Multiplying the first two matrices, we get the matrix 2 times 4 to the n, negative 1 to the n, 4 to the n, negative 2 times negative 1 to the n, times 1 over 5, times the matrix 2, 1, 1, negative 2. So we have 1 over 5 times the matrix 4 to the n plus 1, plus negative 1 to the n, 2 times 4 to the n, minus 2 times negative 1 to the n, 2 times 4 to the n, minus 2 times negative 1 to the n, 4 to the n plus 4 times negative 1 to the n. And this is the expression for a to the n. As the last example, we want to determine whether the matrix A equals 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, negative 1, 1 is diagonalizable. We compute the characteristic polynomial of A, which is the determinant of lambda minus 1, 0, 0, 1 lambda minus 2, 0, negative 1, 1 lambda minus 1, which equals lambda minus 1 squared times lambda minus 2. So the eigenvalues are lambda 1 equals 1 and lambda 2 equals 2. To find the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 1 equals 1, we solve the system 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 0. The general solution is AAB, which equals A times 110 plus B times 001, where A and B are real numbers. Hence, there are two eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 1 equals 1, namely V1 equals 110 and V2 equals 001. To find the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 2 equals 2, we solve the system. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 0. The general solution is 0, C, negative C, where C is a real number. Hence, the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 2 equals 2 is V3 equals 0, 1, negative 1. Now, let P equals the matrix with columns V1, V2 up to V3, which is the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, negative 1. Now compute the determinant of P, which is the determinant of 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 1. Since the first row has two zeros, we can expand along the first row to get 1 times the determinant of 0, 1, 1, negative 1. This equals negative 1, which is non-zero. 
so P is invertible, which means that A is diagonalizable.